In this lesson, we're going to cover formula conversions. As the name implies, we're talking about converting fields from one type to the next. With dates, we saw a little bit of that, the ability to change a date time to a date. But that's really pretty much the same thing. But then, we converted a date to a number, meaning a year, month, day. But let's try something a little bit different. Let's go to our formula fields. We're still on report three. Click on new. Call this conversion formula one and press OK. This brings up to our formula workshop and in this case I want to show my client number followed by the amount of revenue. And I'll put my little space dash space. Space counts as a character by the way. These spaces between don't really count at all in the formula itself. But I also need to show that revenue amount. Now watch what happens when I press the check button. It says a string is required here. So if I wanted these two to show together on my report in a quick little client list of what the client is and how much money they've earned, the formula would not let me show it as such. However, here's a quick little tip. Op two text, open parentheses, and then close the parentheses around that field. And all of a sudden, I check and everything is OK. I save and close. I'm going to scroll over here to the beginning and I'm going to pull in my conversion formula one and place it right there. Now what I've got here is my client number followed by the revenue amount displayed. Conversions are kind of tricky. For example, while it's easy enough for me to convert a number to a text field because it's simply pulling over the same characters and it means the same things when a human mind reads it, it's treated differently by the computer. For example, if I tried to convert a text field to number, that text field would have to be filled with characters of numbers only. For example, if I try this, let's try new, we'll call it conversion formula 2. Because here in Crystal, it goes both ways. There's a function called to number. And I pull in client number, and I end the parenthesis. I check it. Crystal will tell me that there's no errors found. I'm going to save and close. And then I'm going to pull my conversion formula 2 onto the report so I can display the result. You get this message. Your string is non-numeric. Now in some databases, everything is stored as a string, including the numbers. But all the string is numeric. So the translation happens seamlessly. If you have an alpha character enter, it throws you out and you get this message. As you can see, it's easy to go one way, but harder to go another. You can also translate certain numbers into date fields, assuming you have a number for month, a number for day, and a number for year. Otherwise, it's a little tough. The point to remember here is you can translate your numbers into strings easier than you can the other way around. But it's worthwhile for beginners to realize that it can be done. You can show a summary of each client together in one single field and display it. Now it displays to the computer as a string, but to the human mind it can recognize a string plus a number. That's the fundamental difference I suppose between humans and computers. Things need to be precisely exact and to the human mind a symbol can mean many things. In this case I'm going to go ahead and erase this formula and save and close. If you don't put anything in the formula it basically shows as a blank and no harm no foul. There are a lot more you can do with these formula fields but I've given you kind of a basic primer on your string functions, your number functions, and your date time functions, as well as your conversion functions, and when and where they come in handy.